Good morning, my brothers and my sisters. It's a wonderful day this Monday morning at 10 o'clock. Um, our inspirational reading, and today we need inspiration. We, we need inspiration, uh, we need faith, and, and, and we need that joy that comes from the Lord. You know, there, there's a saying, this joy that I have, the world did not give it to me. The world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. And so, over these next coming weeks that we're going to be seeing some drastic things happen in the state of Texas, in the Metroplex, we need to remember that our joy comes from the Lord and that the peace we talk about, which surpasses all understanding, that that peace is still available. It still comes from God and, and we can still trust in God to provide us with that peace. Now our inspirational reading scripture, they come from Psalms and in Psalms 18 verses 1 through 6, it says, I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The pains of death surround me, and the flood of the ungodly made me afraid. The sorrow of the grave surrounded me. The snare of death confronted me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and I cried out to my God. He heard my voice from his temple, and my cry came before him, even to his ear. We face some unprecedented challenges here in Texas in our metro metroplex. But we have a God who is able, and that God instructs us and he inspires us. Jesus said it long time ago, be wise as serpent but harmless is dove. And, and, and in these times, you know, we've got things like masks that we need to wear. Um, Deacon sees some like dough. He went and bought a hundred. And he said, Pastor, I, I can get another two hundred if that's what I need for the, for, to help our people so that they can have the mask that they need so that they can be safe. Wear your mask. It, don't make it be an option. Make it be a primary thing that you use on a day in and day out basis. Just same way you carry your purse, carry your mask. Same way you got your wallet in your pocket or your cell phone, carry your mask, use it. Social distance. Don't be getting up on folks and don't let folks be come running up on you. You know, if you need to tell them, back up off me. Because these are times that there's going to be a lot of folks falling by the wayside. And we, we, we don't have to be, you don't have to be one of them. You stand fast. Hold your ground. Maintain your faith in God. And, and it'll be okay. You'll get through it. There are folks we love. People that are friends of ours. Not everybody's going to make it. But we hope that the losses will be minimal and few as possible. And it will be if we use good sound judgment. You know, the two great commandments. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy might. And then the second one, Jesus said, is no less great. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. In these times when we seek a peace that surpasses all understanding, in this time when we talk about this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me, the world, didn't, the world can't take it away, let us remember our neighbors 
our friend that by being responsible well, we, we've been a good neighbor because we reduce the risk that we might pass on something lethal or deadly to them. Because if we don't have it, we can't pass it on to anybody else. So that's the good thing. And and then if, if, if by chance we are asymptomatic and we do have, well, we got a mask, guess what? We still won't pass it on to them. And if we're in a mask, there's a good, good probability if you're not close to people, well, you'll be fine too. That's what we do. That, that to me, that's inspiring. Come on!